from Mikulis, launches it down the inside, hard on the brakes. Norbe, the Hungarian driver, gets the deal done. As there's another bit of contact, that is Norbe and Giralame coming to blows, not once, not twice, but three times in the final corner. And Ted Bjork once again walks through another open door, although this time a few kisses for good measure as well down the straight. In fact, massive kisses. That's put Norbe in a very treacherous position. Mitchell is to the inside, a little bit late there, not quite alongside, but using the front of the car just to let Ma Tring Ha Ching Ma Tring Ha know there's a car ahead behind him. But Nobby Mitchell it's can't quite do the deal there, but can he do it here? Yes, he can, with a little bit of crash for company as well. Nobby Mitchell it's to the inside, gets it done to the final corner. That's how you overtake here and put it out. He's got a, a windscreen full of cars as well, as we're seeing Michelis and Athcona side by side as they cross the line to start the second lap of what has been a thrilling opening lap of the race. Can Michelis and Athcona get through Gerber Grande side by side? Yes, they can. A little bit of gravel for good measure, both in front and during the battle. But now we see uh, Michelis to the inside. Ted Bjork painting himself to the rear of that Hyundai. Both Hyundais go out wide and off the racetrack. Ted Bjork, thank you very much, nips through the middle takes the position. Nobi Mitchell is on the run through Eau Rouge alongside Fernandez gets the deal done up the hill very brave from Nobi Mitchell is there but gets it done moves the Hyundai Elantra into second but Fernandez back again around the outside riding on board now with Martin Qua in the 155 he's looking to get a slipstream of Kobe Powell's but the Mitchell is Fernandez fight continues Tom Coronel trying to buy in to this one as well Coronel just painted to the rear of Nobi's car he sneaked through as well 